We actually have only been using Ping since um, April, and it's from day one. It's improved our workflow tremendously. I was able to develop a protocol and a policy within a week, um, and my care coordinator started using it immediately. And it's just been such a huge improvement because we're actually pulling people out of the emergency room and getting them into the office to be seen for primary care issues as opposed to utilizing the ED for that. I think the biggest trend obviously is value-based care and care coordination is a huge component in that because um, it's patient-centric. So identifying everything, environmental, social, and medical needs of the patient, which in the long term results in uh, better reimbursements for our agency and that's how we stay open. What I like most about patient ping is the real-time notification. The way we have it set up, the notification comes uh, as a pop-up on an email for my staff and that allows them to um, immediately call the ED or the hospital, what have you, in order to make contact and possibly get the patient out of the emergency room and into the office for primary care issues. Because of that real-time notification and that immediate contact, we've really made a lot of uh, changes in the way we take care of our patients, but the one that is most profound for me is um, a patient who had no-showed probably 15 times uh, for her medical appointments. Uh, we received a notification from Ping that she was in the ED. My care coordinator called over there. She spoke to her in the ED, um, and the patient started crying and said that, you know, I'm really surprised no one's ever taken the time to listen to me or even call me to see how I was. Um, and she was um, contemplating suicide. And so we were able to get her into the office. She um, saw her provider, got a mental health referral, and just continues to call and think um, that care coordinator for intervening and letting her know that there is someone out there that cares about her.